Okay. What's your name? Uh, my name is Eric Robertson. What's your topic? Uh, my topic is neutral buoyancy. And how long is it going to take you to, to do this? should take about two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. Okay. Well, go ahead and get started then. Uh, so, hi guys. My name is Eric Robertson, and uh, today I want to talk to you about neutral buoyancy. And uh, neutral buoyancy is important because it can prevent you from damaging reefs. Uh, it can help you to conserve your air longer. And uh, it also can keep you safe from ascending or descending too quickly. Um, by the end of this, you should be able to understand what buoyancy is, uh, the hazards of poor buoyancy, and also understand how to safely manage your buoyancy better. So we do that in scuba diving by the use of buoyancy control devices. So that's what this is, and we use those so that we become better divers. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So our first key point is to understand what buoyancy is. Uh, neutral buoyancy has a lot to do with Archimedes principle and Boyle's law of expanding gases. But to keep it very simple and understandable is weight has, our water has weight. And as we get deeper, we get more weight. So it's gonna compress the amount of air that's in our BCDs. And we must add air to our BCDs as we get deeper to remain neutrally buoyant and we must take air away from our BCDs as we ascend to remain neutrally buoyant. So with the understanding of what neutral buoyancy is, let's hit our second key point and understand some of the hazards of that. So obviously we like to scuba dive. We want to go and we want to see these natural reefs. If we drop too fast, we could damage these reefs uh, and really affect our ecosystem. So we don't want to do anything uh, that could damage those. Our, second key, our third key point here is gonna to be to understand how to safely manage our buoyancy. Uh, so we do that by not changing depths, right? So if we don't change depths a whole lot, uh, we get to a depth and we maintain that depth, we're not gonna to have to add or subtract that air into our BCDs. And then lastly, we can control our breathing better. If we do that, that's gonna conserve our air as well as maintaining our buoyancy a whole lot better. So if you wanna know more about this, I definitely recommend taking a Nally Advanced Diver class and uh, continue that education there. So now that I've done with this presentation, you should be able to understand what buoyancy is, uh, what the hazards of poor buoyancy can be, and also understand how to safely manage that buoyancy. Uh, Kaya, do you know what one of the hazards of poor buoyancy would be? Damaging the Damaging a reef, okay. Well, that's all I've got. Let's uh, let's knock this out and do a fantastic dive on our next dive. Okay, great. Your time was two minutes and 52 seconds.